Right, we doing it. Yeah, I got my jumpsuit. Yeah, <laughs> I got my suit. Uh-huh. What's up? Power book, too. Make sure y'all get them stars apps up. Pay exactly. That pay that money. <laughs> so we Michael Rain is in the building. And we eating good. We eating good. We eating great. It's happening. Ghost. What's happening, YouTube Power fans? This is going to be my review trailer where I break down what's happening in Power Book 2 Ghost starring Michael Rainey. And you've seen what I showed you in the very beginning. They're really trying to hype Power Book 2 up. But the fans' reaction haven't been that great because of the way Power went down. People feel like this is going to be basically a continuation of Power Season 7 without Ghost. Tasha saying go and buy and keep the Stars apps going when a lot of people about to cancel Christmas on their Stars app. And it looks like Courtney Kemp is creating her own almost like Marvel Universe with power because we've got several shows coming off, several spinoffs coming off. But I think a lot of people tend to forget that Amari Hartwick, even though power was good to him, the man is trying to get his money up in Hollywood. There's, you know, a greater range of things he can be doing besides just power. He wants to be a power player in Hollywood, which is some of the reasons why he left. But let's not forget that this could still legitimately be a good story. I know most of us are frustrated at Michael Rainey, who basically is like a kid whose father gave him everything. It was going to give him a better future outside of drugs, and now his ass wants to sell drugs. I know we feel that way, but maybe Courtney Kemp and the crew can give us a great story, and I think we'll all watch it. If you're looking at the graphic on the screen, it's a lot of new, fresh, young actors new storylines and we're going to cover it all if you're finding me for the first time please subscribe to the channel be sure to turn on the notifications so when i drop videos you get them follow me on the podcast anytime you have stories questions or concerns hit me up on instagram follow me on instagram it's easier for me to chat and communicate with you all via instagram let's watch the trailer one more time then we'll pick it apart scene by scene Very beginning, we just see little snitch ass, punk ass Tariq running to school. First day, it already looked like he's late trying to get to class. I mean, what do you expect? Then once he gets to class, they have this classic scene where he's standing on the ledge. What does that remind you of? That reminds you of his daddy standing on that ledge at Truth, overlooking his conquest, overlooking the things he's done. And apparently they're going to treat Michael Rainey, Tariq, in the same manner as he's overlooking this ledge, thinking he's going to take over the college atmosphere. Then we see good old Cooper Sacks. This is turning out to be more and more of a Dukes of Hazard situation. Boss Hog chasing around the Dukes of Hazard. He is probably going to be chasing around Tariq because Tariq is still holding over his head that he was at truth. And he's going to probably be trying to figure out ways to take him down, knowing that Tariq is doing something dirty. The key to this is with Cooper Sacks, what are they going to surround him with in terms of an AUSA office? They've got to have some good characters around him that make this AUSA office continue to be the worst AUSA office in America. Then we see Method Man. And we already know his character is named David McLean, and he's going to be a lawyer. <clears throat> if we're judging this correctly, he's going to fill in the road that Proctor left, because a lot of us love Proctor. Proctor was our guy. Um, his loyalty, his his persistence to helping Ghost, and his you know what he was as a father. We we enjoyed that character, and I'm assuming Method Man is going to fill the void where Proctor left off, but only with a different spin. Method Man is going to have his own issues, from what I understand, and it's going to make for a really, really good dynamic character. Then we see Mary J. Blige with stacks of money on the table. We can only assume she's somehow in the drug game. Maybe she's going to be an adversary to Tariq. Uh, maybe they'll make her 
Tasha's sister, cousin, or something in the game that can help out Tariq. But it's I'm not finding anything that lets me know exactly what her complete role is going to be. Other than we've seen her with, a, with some other actors as if she's teaching the game to someone young, like this young lady right here. So maybe she's going to be helping Reek and also helping Tasha somehow from jail, somehow outside of jail, and she's going to be part of the drug game, and Cooper Sass is going to be chasing her too. Then we see Tasha. Should we just call her Tasha Cookie Lions number two? Because now her butt is in jail. She's probably going to be trying to figure out ways to get out. Maybe she's going to be pulling strings from inside the jail. We don't know exactly what her role is going to be, but I don't see her them keeping her in jail for a long time. And let us not forget about our guy, 2-Bit. I always thought that they was going to let Tariq and 2-Bit link up. And I don't think we're done seeing 2-Bit. It's just a matter of, is 2-Bit going to be in this series or is he going to be in one of the other ones because we know we're going to see councilman tate possibly his brother in another spinoff called influence so maybe two bit will be in that one maybe two bit will be in the one with tommy i'm not sure but there are a lot of loopholes and stories they didn't finish like we never got to see anything happen more with ramona and with them having Rodriguez play such a big role in this last season, I think it's safe to assume she's going to have a role in one of these spinoffs going forward as well. But ladies and gentlemen, leave me all your comments below. Are you going to give these spinoffs a try? I know I am. I'm going to give you guys reviews of them. And which ones are you looking to the most that you think you can enjoy? This one, Influence, uh, the one with Tommy, or the show that's coming on tonight, For Life, another 50 Cent um, show. And I think that one is going to be pretty good. Check my video I just dropped on that one about the trailer for that. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe. Get yourself that life game. Follow me on the podcast. Follow my other YouTube channel. That is the Life Game Review channel. And until that next Sex Is Hell video, I'll see you.